Hey everyone, thank you for clicking to watch. I'm Britta Nell for those who are new. And I wanted to do a video about breastfeeding. Just give you guys like a few tips that I do to help my milk supply to keep coming and going and going and going. Like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> but before I get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I up no <laughs> Every time I upload a new video, yes, that's my baby girl. You know, every time I do a video, you're probably gonna hit my baby. She, she, <laughs> she's been talking so much lately. It's just amazing. <laughs> you gonna let me do this video? Okay, so let let's get into this video. Now, I, I just have like maybe four tips about how to keep your milk supply going. Um, it, it's funny because in this day and age, you would think us moms would all have it together, but we really don't. Like, it's not like in the past where our moms and our great grandmothers and our grandmothers was able to stay home with their babies, you know, till they was ready to go to kindergarten. And it's just so different now. So everybody just needs advice on how to like how do i do this and how do i do that and you would think that we would know it naturally because it's just such a natural thing but nope sometimes we just need help from each other so i thought it'd be okay to just share a few of the things that i do with breastfeeding so the first thing that i do is i definitely put my daughter on a schedule when she was first born she latched on a lot well, she latched on right away, which is a good thing, and I know a lot of moms, a lot of moms struggle with that. But she latched on right away, and she would feed like every thirty minutes, sometimes every hour, sometimes every two hours. She was just like really all over the place when she was first born. But as time progressed, I you know paid attention to how she ate, and I I noticed that we could get her to like every two hours, and I just kept that frequent. And she sleeps through the night, so during the nighttime, I would be, like, really engorged, so I would have to pump a lot during nighttime. But now my body kind of understands the schedule, so I don't really have to do that anymore. But basically, I think it's very important that you keep your baby on a schedule. Um, do it more frequently because that means that your body will keep producing and producing because it understands that your child needs to eat more frequently. So that's very important to keep your child on a schedule and that will really help with your milk to keep coming in time after time after time. Now the next thing I think that is very important is that you need to drink lots and lots and lots of water because me personally, I noticed when I wasn't drinking water on certain days that my chest wasn't filling up like it was the few previous days so it's definitely important that you drink lots and lots of water and plus it's healthy for you and your baby you know everything that goes into you goes to baby so it's definitely important to make sure you pay attention to what you're putting into your body because it goes directly to your child and that is and that also goes with eating you have to eat a lot more frequently because when i wasn't eating properly especially when she was first born I had a hard time of like eating for some reason because I didn't have an appetite, but I would be breastfeeding frequently and doing it properly, but my energy was gone. So it's definitely important that you eat and try to treat it as though like you're still pregnant. Like you felt like when you were pregnant, you were eating for two. It's definitely the same thing when you're breastfeeding. You're feeding for two. So I now try to eat a lot, lot more calories and a lot, lot more food because I want to make sure baby girl gets everything she needs and I also have enough, you know, after I'm done for the day. And to coincide with the energy thing, my next tip is, is to make sure you take your vitamins because that helps as well. When I don't take my vitamins, my energy is like, <clears throat> like I'm just not no good for the day. So it's definitely important to take your vitamins because not only is it good for you, you know your body and soul but it's also good to keep up that energy um like i said before when i don't take it i'm just not no good so it's it's important to take your vitamins 
and it helps with the breastfeeding as well because you're giving again your baby something that she or he needs and then finally my last tip with breastfeeding is that you need to invest in a breast pump now me personally I got mine through my insurance but I know it's a lot of different breast pumps on the market that is sort of affordable that you could get and they also have like the the manual ones that you could use I have a, um electric one that has the two breast pumps on it so I could pump both breasts at the same time but I tend to do one because I have my um like I said before my daughter on a schedule so if she eats in the morning and then eats lunch or two hours later, which I consider lunch anyway, I'll feed her from one chest and I'll pump the other. And that also gives my body the um, idea that I have to I have to produce more than what I really need, but I do it anyway because that helps me store milk away for the future. So say like um, around some, six months, I might be away from her for long periods of time. So it'll be enough milk in there for her to you know, eat throughout the day while she's with a sitter or with her father or a family member. So it's definitely important to um, do that if you're concerned about not producing enough milk. If you're just exclusively breastfeeding and you're not doing anything else, um, I would do that. I would, even if you're not going to feed her that milk or him that milk right away, I would pump at least once or twice a day so that your body gets understanding that you need to produce this milk this much milk each day to provide for your baby and then you'll have way more than enough milk in the future when if you when and if you decide to stop breastfeeding from the boob and you just want to just put it into a bottle that's important as well and that's something i'm personally going to do um Especially if she gets teeth <laughs> before she turns one. I don't know if I can handle her chomping on me like that. <laughs> so, I thought it was important to make sure I stole away way more than enough milk for her. So that by the time she turns one, she'll have enough and she'll be exclusively breastfed and not supplemented in any way. And if, even if you are supplementing with breast and, and breastfeeding... Pumping is still a good thing to do because you never know. Baby might not want the milk, the supplement milk, when you try to introduce them to that form. And also with the bottle thing, like with her, she does not want to take a bottle. So I know for sure that she's not going to take any supplement milk because she barely even wants to take my breast milk in a bottle so i have to really uh work on that which is that'll be another video once i do achieve that i'll probably make a video on how i achieve getting her to take a bottle but yeah those are my tips those are the things that i do i know there's some things on the market like cookies and teas and stuff and i have taken a tea with my second son to try to produce milk when I was like not following this regimen at all and I think it kind of worked but not in the way that I thought it would I thought it would just give me more way way more than enough milk and it didn't and then I I had to end up stop breastfeeding at four months because I wasn't producing any more milk because I was not following no schedule I wasn't pumping properly I wasn't eating or drinking properly I was I was kind of selfish and I like I said <laughs> before it's really trial and error but it's no rule to being a parent so you know sometimes you might do things differently with each child but you know we all in the end do our best but this time around I definitely feel like I've got it down pack I'm doing everything that needs to be done so if you like these tips and you think that it'll help you, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if it worked for you or anything that you're doing. I don't mind taking advice from other people. It, may, it might be one or two things that, you know, you're doing that I could possibly do. But I feel like these four things that I've um informed you guys about definitely work for me and i've been producing milk like crazy and i've been good and she has got nothing but breast milk and 
she's a healthy baby girl so i thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video